para México. Uh, shout out Brandon Moreno. The big dub. Uh, great fight. Uh, this one's short. Um, I just seen a meme on. Let me fucking let me expose this motherfucker, bro. Now, guys, a lot of us are just trying to create content, okay? All right, but I don't give a fuck about that. You getting exposed, you bitch? For putting some dumbass shit on the internet, right? I don't know. I'm not going to be able to find it, right? But the dude's a loser. And basically, it was a picture of Brandon Moreno next to Kaya, uh, Kai Kara France. Um, post fight, Brandon Moreno's all fucked up. Kai Kara France is fine. I think I might find it right here. Ooh, oh my God. Oh my gosh. I just watched uh, Amanda Nunes knock down Juliana Pena. I'm on, I'm on IG right now. Oh my God. And that's kind of the upkick I was talking about in my other video. It's uh, not exactly, but it's one of them. Boom. You see that immediate. Woo. If that landed on Amanda Nunes' chin. Woo. All right. But anyways, point being, Brandon Moreno's got like nine stitches kai car france is smiling barely he's got a black eye at the club right and the caption was moreno and kai after their fight so i guess like even in the comments he wasn't saying like damn can you believe how fucked up the ch but it did say one one and one loss it, it was it dude that fuck the the light that they sh put framed that sh fucking meme and fuck you bro because you're stupid you probably never been in a fight bro I could come out of a fight fucked up, right? I didn't lose that fight. I didn't lose one second of that fight. There's a bunch of reasons why I could have came out of that fight looking fucked up, right? Because while I was letting somebody punch me in my face, my mind was focused on snapping his fucking arm in half, all right? And guess what, bro? I don't care how many black eyes I got. That dude, I broke his fucking arm, you idiot. You stupid fuck. Shut up. So yeah, Brandon Moreno didn't lose one second of that fucking fight. Israel Adesanya, you fucking idiot. What? Yeah, I got beef with the champ now. Send him my way. I don't care. Give me a little bit of that juice that he's on too, and I bet you I beat your ass, boy. Give a fuck how big you are. Fuck you. That's what they make weapons for. Listen to me. Nah, shout out Izzy, dude. I fuck with Izzy. He's just, you could tell, I don't know, man. I don't want to go in about Izzy right now, guys. But look, shout out Izzy, man. Shout out Izzy Savage, bro. The way that he fucking did that dance and then came out and sparked fucking Robert, Robert Whitaker. Holy shit, dude. Oh, who does that? Israel Adesanya, the style bender. In a fight, you win and you lose. There are moments of the fight where you win. There are moments of the fight where you lose. Objectively, subjectively. Actually, it's really not even objectively. It's subjectively. There's points of the fight, like I said. Sometimes you're willing to give up a position. Now, keep in mind, Izzy's trying to make his boy feel better after a fucking... He just got a devastating loss, you know, but still. Um, I could be giving up a position, losing... Object subjectively, objectively, right? Uh, I'm getting my face pounded, and because I'm giving that position up in order to secure a better position or a lock or progress a transition, so on. That's just how that's. It doesn't work like you were winning that fight. That's not kind of really not how it works. It's because you either you won that fight or you lost that fight, bro. Oh, dude, he was getting his ass whooped before he got knocked out. He got knocked out, bro. Got knocked out. Or I'm sorry, he was getting, he was whooping that dude's ass before he got knocked out. He was winning the fight before he got knocked out. He got knocked out. The other dude didn't get knocked out. So, this like, oh man, you should see how the other guy looks or whatever. Like, no, bro. You go into war, you come, you don't come out unscathed. Obviously, the way that the universe and life works, there's the roll of the dice. Every, every 20 times you fight. There will be one time where, yeah, that happens. Something happens that wasn't supposed to happen. But statistically speaking, it's like 
you you come out of a fight fucked up, dude. Every fight I've ever been in is fucked up. All right. Now, given in my era when we used to throw hands, we were it was never I I was throwing hands from like eight to like 15 extremely consistently to, to like 17 extremely consistently but a lot of the people who i was throwing hands with it was always an agreed upon thing like that's just the culture that we grew up in all right these two dudes are about to fight we're about to get in the circle and we're you know they're, they're about to figure it the fuck out right so it was never like a real threat of violence but some of these fights a lot of these fights actually were on concrete so I'd whoop somebody's ass, kind of, right? Um, like, we're kids fighting, whatever that looks like, right? I'd whoop somebody's ass, but I'd be fucking bleeding everywhere all over my body, bro. I have scars to prove it because I just got eaten up, torn the fuck up by that concrete. Why? Because I'm going, I pick somebody the fuck up on that concrete and I slammed her ass, right? But oh, the last fight that I got into, actually the second not the last fight that I got into, but the fight before that. My la the last two fights that I got into, I got my ass whooped. Um, but the one, the second, not the last one, the one before that, um, it was kind of like this agreed upon fight. We weren't trying to hurt each other. And the dude picked, like, we were trying to hurt each other. We weren't trying to, like, fuck, like, kill each other type shit. We were from the same neighborhood and stuff, but we were about to figure it the fuck out. And um, the dude picked me up in the middle of the street. Uh, he's probably like 220 um same height 220 though um and now at the time i'm 145 pounds pick me the fuck up no problem in the middle of the road he's a, a ex linebacker football player decent decent at a high school level he was one of the better players at at, at a high school level um not one of the good great good players but he was one of the better ones um he could have he could have slammed me on that concrete, busted my head open, bro. Com ruined me. So, anyways, point being is like when you come out of a fight, man, you get fucked up, period, because that's what a fight looks like. But that don't mean you lost that fight. That don't mean you were losing moments of that fight. That's not how. That's as a sport, as a UFC sport. Okay, we could talk about that, but don't say it's like don't. The terminology rubs me the wrong way a lot of times. Because he was like, oh, he was winning that fight until he lost. He, he lost that fight, bro. That's the what the fight is. That The fight ain't the first round, bro. And that's where we're getting it fucking confused with this sport shit. This UFC sport shit, man. So, Look, Nate Diaz ain't never been finished. Period. Right? I mean, you know, it's been a while. But, so fuck you, man. He's undefeated. Because it's like, in a fight... Nate Connor never killed Connor never killed him um, anyway yeah uh Kai Car France didn't kill Brandon Moreno guess what Brandon Moreno killed Kai Car France somebody had to step in because he was gonna kill him okay yeah uh, that's how it works uh, the referee has to stop the fighter from killing the other motherfucker Otherwise, keep going, bro. That's permanent damage for life, bro. For eternity. Dead. Shut. Lights off. Game over. Play again. Bye. Come again. Thank you. Peace. Okay? Kai Car France wasn't winning that fight. Shut up. He lost his life Saturday night. Dude would kill me, bro. Dude would murder me. All right? Give me give me uh, six weeks, though. Give me six weeks, though. Dude. A little bit of money. So I could eat some food, you know what I mean? So I could just focus on training. Give me six weeks and, and, and a decent coach. All right, man? Fuck you up, dog. I'm going to need a lot longer than six weeks. But uh, Kai Car France is a savage. The way he sparked Cody, Cody Garbrandt, unbelievable, bro. Unbelievable. Cody Garbrandt, to me, was the pinnacle of a fighter, man, for a while. You know, dude, that Dominic Cruz performance is unbelievable. And even, even, uh, who's the dude he just fucking sparked, um, up against the cage? Unbelievable, bro. And the what, how Kai, Kai Car France caught him? <sighs> Whoa, means the dude's good. But guess what? Viva la Mexico. Can't fuck with the Mexican spirit, dog. Right? Brandon Moreno's got scar tissue under his eye, you fucking idiots. You casuals. He cuts open easy, dude. Don't mean he lost, was losing the fight, got and got beat up and shit. You guys sound stupid as hell, bro. Now I don't know the metrics. I didn't look at the numbers, but no, bro, dude, 
No, that is not how it works. All right, I got. I think I got one more video after this, right? Talk about uh, Anthony Lionheart Smith.